I did put an, a new auto tensioner body on back here. Not 100% not sure if you can see it's it's real dark. And I put an auto tensioner pulley set up back on here. And also a brand new water pump while I was doing this job. Which all this comes together and a idler pulley. That's a smart thing to do when you're tearing one down this far. When you're doing a head gasket job. Might as well go ahead and replace the water pump idler pulleys timing belts and such now as far as torquing the idler pulley i torqued it down to 33 foot pounds and then as far as the water pump goes i also torqued it down to nine foot pounds and lastly i torqued the auto tensioner pulley down this well the auto tensioner itself i torqued it down to nine foot pounds now that I got all that torqued down to spec, I am ready to set the heads back on. I had cleaned the block, the surface of the deck and the block previously, and I have installed the head gaskets. And now I'm ready to set the heads back on. doing a head job typically you want to install new head bolts especially on a high mileage motor anything like that head bolts are known to stretch over time so I went ahead and I got two new sets of head bolts one set per head now if you pay attention these are 12 point head bolts now I'll walk you through the steps of torquing a 12 point head bolt now they're different than a six point head bolt now the next step what you're going to do with these head bolts before you install these head bolts you're going to want to dip them and fresh oil the threads let the excess run off I mean just put a little oil on that bolt around the seating area, around the threads, and then you're ready to drop them in place, tighten and torque to spin. After dropping the head bolts in, go ahead and take a 14 millimeter 12 point socket. Start hand tightening on that. Now, you don't want to force these. Force these, you'll have major problems. You don't want to cross thread a head bolt. So, go ahead and run these head bolts down by hand before torquing them down. According to spec, we're going to torque these heads on our first round to 22 foot-pounds. And the torque sequence for these heads are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Got to set to 22, and we're going to start torquing. Make 
make sure they're all snug first before I start my torch sequence. like to make sure they're snug make sure the head's good and flat Two foot pounds. I know that don't sound like much, but according to the Honda spec, that's what they say, and then we'll go in two steps. One pass, 90 degrees. Second pass, 90 degrees. If you got new head bolts, do an additional third pass, 90 degrees. Now when torquing these heads, it's always a good idea to double check after you make your 22 foot pound pass, double check them because sometimes they ain't all going to be torqued 22 foot-pounds. The gasket is going to compress a little bit, so therefore you need to double check your work. We're now ready for our second pass. We done done all eight bolts, torqued them down to 22 foot-pounds. Now we need to do three additional 90 degree turns because we're doing three because remember we have new head bolts if you're using the old head bolts if they're still within spec you just do two now i'm going to do a 90 degree my first bolt turned all bolts 90 degrees now to complete this head bolt torque step process we're going to do that step two more times at 90 degrees and that'll finish up our head bolt torque spec 